Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In this video, we're gonna show you guys how to reset a lost or forgotten administrator password for Windows Server 2025. Before we get started with today's video, if you guys are interested in purchasing Windows Server, remote desktop licenses, Windows 10, Windows 11, Microsoft Office, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll have those links down below. So without further ado, let's jump in. All right guys, so the very first step is to boot from our CD. So we basically need to access our boot menu. And if you're on a physical computer with Windows Server installed, go ahead and shut down the machine and boot off the CD. And in my case, if you're running off of a virtual machine, in Hyper-V, we have some settings here. We just need to, underneath the BIOS, make sure that the CD is at the top in terms of the startup order. And once we do that, we can double click to go ahead and start it. I'll click start and pretty much immediately I'm gonna see press any key to boot from CD and that's gonna get us into the Windows recovery menu. Once we're here, we're prompted with our languages. We'll click next and instead of install, we'll go to repair my PC. From here, we'll click our keyboard layout, click into troubleshoot and let's open the command prompt. All right, so once we're inside of our CMD here, the first thing we need to do is figure out which one of our volumes is our operating system file. And luckily, Windows makes it pretty easy to do that. So let's type disk part, all one word. From the disk part menu, we can now type list space volume. Typically, the way that we can figure out which is the correct volume is it'll have the largest file size. That's our operating system volume. Uh, but there is also a way to make sure of that. So let's go ahead and exit disk part. We know that we have our drive letter D, which is volume two. So I'll type exit and then CD backspace in order to return to our root directory, currently in volume X. Let's navigate to volume D. So we'll just type D colon, we're in volume D, and then we'll type DIR. And if we see the Windows file here, that's gonna tell us that we're in the operating system file. So D is our correct volume that we're going to use when we run the following commands. We'll start with CD space windows. From here, we'll do CD space. Then we'll type system 32, all one word. And we're in the correct folder now. We're now gonna enter a command called rename. We're gonna enter utilman.exe, which is the accessibility program that essentially launches the login window. And we're just gonna rename this to utilman.old. You can choose a different name if you'd like to. Uh, the point is just that we need to rename it. So we'll press enter on this. Next up, we're going to copy the command cmd.exe, and then we're gonna call that utilman.exe. So we type copy command.exe space utilman.exe, and it'll show one file as copied. Next up, I'm gonna do dir space cmd.exe. What we're looking for is the file size. We want this to match dir space utilman exe and that's going to verify that we've done this step correctly and so yes these two exactly match in size okay so we've done that i'm going to go cd backslash once again what i need to do now is i'm going to go back up to where i said list volume we need to select the operate we need to select the installation file now and that's going to be the drive letter f for volume zero it's our boot drive so we'll go into f colon once we're here we're going to type bcd edit forward slash set then we'll need to enter the squiggly bracket. We're gonna type boot MGR, boot manager, squiggly bracket again, space timeout 15, press enter. Now you should see that the operation completed successfully. Okay, we're gonna follow that with another BCD edit command. So BCD edit slash set. Again, we'll enter boot MGR, display boot menu, and follow that with yes, we'll press enter. Sorry guys, I had a typo there. So it was bcd edit slash set boot mgr display boot menu. Yes, there we go. Operation completed successfully. We can go ahead and type exit. All right, let's go ahead and turn off our PC and we'll just go ahead and start that again. Depending on what version of Hyper-V or what virtual machine you have, you may have to uh, move your CD down so that it doesn't boot off the drive. Uh, but I think we should be fine just to start this and I'll press continue. All right, and we successfully can see the Windows Boot Manager. Now from here, let's do F8, and that's gonna give us advanced boot options. What we wanna do now is use the arrow keys. So I'll go down on the arrow, safe mode, and we'll press enter. 
All right, we are almost done with this whole process here. So if we click our accessibility menu here, we can now see in the right, we have access to command prompt. Now we can simply type in the following command. It's gonna be net space user space administrator, followed by the new password that we want. I'll set my password as indigo2025. I'll press enter. Sorry, I entered another typo, net user administrator. I was missing an I there. And uh, we'll type that password again, indigo2025. The command completed successfully. So I'll type exit from the command prompt. All right, let's see if our new credentials work. So we'll type in the administrator user followed by the new password that we just set. There we can see that and we'll press enter. And we are successfully logged in at this point. We can still see that we are actually in safe mode and we can simply exit safe mode by turning off our machine and then we'll just boot back in and everything should be back to normal with our new password updated. We'll go ahead and test that one more time. I'm not going to boot the CD again. Here we can just hit enter. All right, and then we're on the login page again and indigo2025, the password I just entered and that should get us in. And we are successfully logged back into our server. All right, guys, so that's gonna do it for today's video. If you have any questions about anything we went over, feel free to drop those in the comments below and we'll get back with you as soon as we can. Again, if you're interested in purchasing genuine Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll have those links down below. As our channel continues to grow, we're constantly looking for new video topic ideas. If you have any ideas of your own, we'd love to hear what those are. Most viewer commented video requests get made into actual videos on our channel. Lastly, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated as it helps to support our channel. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.